Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I wanted to quickly show you my latest product that I have available on my digital download store and that is Creative Profile Pack 1. So Creative Profile Pack 1 is a set of 45 creative profiles for use in Lightroom and Photoshop. So creative profiles are something that was added to Lightroom in version 7.3 and the corresponding version of Photoshop and they allow you to apply a look creatively to your image using uh, color profiles rather than actually using presets. So let me give you a demonstration just to explain this further if you don't already know the concept and let me show you some of the looks included in this creative profile pack. So let me just switch over to Lightroom here. So here I have just a, a typical snapshot um, it's nothing particularly fascinating or interesting. Um, so to apply a creative profile once you have them installed is you go up here to the profile panel in the develop module and you can either go down here and click on browse in the, from the pop-up menu or you can just click on this button here which looks like four little rectangles so once you click on that uh, you will find all your installed profiles so normally you have the Adobe ones and then camera matching ones are ones to uh, match the colors of your camera but if you have mine installed you'll see them down here in their own little section so here let me just go through a couple of them so um, the first set I have included in Creative Profile Pack 1, which includes three sets altogether, is Filmlux Profiles, and they're based on my previous Filmlux presets. So um, there are three black and white looks in this, as you can see here, and then um, there's also a bunch of color looks. So some are kind of based on negative films, and others are based on slide films. Now, these are just kind of artistic interpretations. They're not actually matching color stock or anything like that. Um, so that's just to give you an idea. There's a couple of examples. So let me just pick this one here, FNAKE 2. So if I click on that, I've now applied that color profile. And you also get a amount slider, as you can see up here. So I can drag that down. And I can actually drag it up above 100% as well, if you want to increase the effect. So for now, I'm just going to leave it at 100. So once you do that, you can still actually adjust your image using the normal um, controls. So if you had used the preset, um, the preset would actually um, make modify these sliders, whereas when you use a color profile, it doesn't. Um, okay, so another thing you can do with color profiles is you can actually apply them in conjunction with a preset. So let me start by, uh, I'm just gonna use one of my own presets. So something fairly straightforward like this, say for example. Um, and then I can actually add a color profile to that as well which will uh, change the effect even further so again if i use one of my other profiles so say fneg4 you can see that's increased the effect and i can still adjust the amount of the profile as well and then if i set that back to standard you can see the effect that that has had so i actually have quite a few profiles um included in the pack there's 45 in total so let me just show you some of the other ones um as i said there are three sets so the first set is based on my filmlux profiles which i've just shown you and the second set is called tf color and that is based on some of my other presets that i've created over the years and kind of i've altered them so that they're more suited to uh use as profiles so again let me just kind of hover over a few of these so you can see them Okay, this probably isn't a great image to be shown this on, so, but I'm going to pick one that does demonstrate it. So I have these here called Vividizer, and they create like a super vivid look. So again, I can adjust the amount of these just to get it exactly the way I want it. And again, if I set this back, if I just undo this, that's how it was. And I can still adjust the image afterwards. Now, one of the things to note when applying color profiles is they can sometimes limit the amount of things you can change um, or they limit the effect of sliders um, because they're already pushing um, the adjustments internally in Lightroom. So, for example, in this, uh, you can notice as I drag the highlight slider, it's not um, doing as much as you would think it normally would. And that's because there's a certain amount of highlights adjustment already baked into the color profile. So um, that's just one thing to be aware of with color profiles. Okay, so let me just pick one more um, image and show you some of the other effects that we have. So 
In this image here, I've already applied the FL Slide 03, which is part of the film looks profiles, but if I um, go through some of the other ones, you can see the effects as well. Um, and I will go through some more of the TF color ones. So, as you can see, some of these actually provide quite a stylistic look, um, which can be useful depending on the type of image you're looking for. So for something like this, if you want a kind of a stylized version, say you want to post on Instagram or whatever, you can use something like this. So for example, Goldify here will bring up the gold color. And then I can bring this up above 100%. And if I click close, and then I can still do some more adjustments. If I want to create like a very strong version of this. So they're very useful as um, both a starting point and as a way to quickly grade an image with just one click. Okay, so I'm going to look at one more image. So again, I've already used Autumn Fall on this, but let me show you some of the black and white profiles that come with this. So again, as you can see, you can quite provide quite a range of effects with just one click. So I can just apply this and again, I can scale it up or down and click close. And again, I can still adjust it afterwards. So I can just see the blacks or the clarity. And there you have it. Okay, so one of the other things to note about uh, Creative Profile Pack 1 is that you can also use these Creative Profiles in Photoshop and to use them, it's actually quite simple. So basically in, it, it uses uh, Adobe Camera Raw. So you can access this either by opening a raw file um, and Camera Raw will come up, or you can also do it to a an image such as a JPEG or even just anything you've already brought in and you can actually apply it to a layer. So in this case, I'm gonna duplicate this background layer and I'm going to go filter camera raw filter so this will open the camera raw interface the profiles are in the profile panel here in the first uh, tab in the interface so I click on browse profiles and again you can see all mine are in this collection down here so again I have all my film looks profiles and again I have an amount slider and it's also important to note too that because I'm using this on a flattened image, it, it will behave slightly differently. Um, and again, I can continue to adjust the effect afterwards. So, so there it is before and after. So there you have it. There is my Creative Profile Pack 1. There are 45 profiles altogether. You can use them in Photoshop and Lightroom and also Lightroom CC. And if you have the latest version of everything, you can also use them on Lightroom Mobile. So check them out on uh, my digital download store and the link will be in the description below. And thanks for watching and see you next time.